My name's Phil McNaughton. Um, I'm currently a professor of geography at Durham University, although for the last two and a half years I've been in Brazil uh, doing a, on a visiting fellowship at the University of Campinas. On, from the 1st of April, I'll be joining Wagen University in their Knowledge, Technology and Innovation Group as a personal professor. I, I've done quite a lot of work about responsible innovation, about what it is, about where it comes from, uh, about um, how to develop a framework. So I spoke about uh, some definitions, some, um, what, some of our own, uh, uh, ideas about um, it, how it came out of a, a particularly European context of uh, societal unease with particular kinds of technological innovations and how that set the setting really for debates on response innovation and how, th how uh, there was a need which you know, I was part of to develop a framework that could integrate some of those insights into a proper framework that then could structure the innovation process more responsibly. Uh, so the, um, the, the, I suppose one of the, the key aspects I spoke about was the framework which we call the AIR framework, so the anticipation, inclusion, reflexivity and responsive framework, which is basically to say that if you want to innovate responsibly, you need to be anticipative, you need to be inclusive, you need to be reflexive, and you need to be responsive. And of course, it's very complicated for monitoring and evaluation. I just think the dangers of instrumentalization are enormous. And, and of course, if you monitor and evaluate, you think you know what you are monitoring and evaluating. So, 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 so how do you keep that process open uh, and flexible and, uh, and true to the wider ideals? It you know, has to be there. I think also that there's a key problem about capacity building that uh, you know, I know even in Europe evaluators have a very um, uh, underdeveloped notion of responsible innovation. And so we, we have the situation where we're developing programs of responsible innovation, but we don't necessarily have the capacities to follow those through. And, and if that's the case, then response innovation could just become another rather empty buzzword. And, and I think the key uh, notion really of response innovation is how do you bring society and innovation, including science, closer together in a more of a harmonious uh, process. And, uh, and, and that's a fundamental issue for monitoring and evaluation to be part of that. So, so, so I hope that this will provide not just some understanding, but also some intelligence as to how to move forward together.